economic growth in Europe is increasingly solid and unemployment is falling steadily. But since the crisis, the number of people who feel they aren't benefiting from the economic recovery has risen in Europe and many other parts of the world. Several years of slow growth, high unemployment and technological changes have made it harder for some to participate in the economy and benefit from it. This exclusion is worrying from an economic and social perspective. So combating inequality has become a major priority for the European Union. Governments control education, health and social welfare systems. But EU policy supports national action to address common challenges, such as population aging, skill deficits in the workforce, technological developments and global competition. This is done through the EU's annual cycle of economic policy coordination and through the Commission's focus on inclusive growth in all its policy making. The EU is also working to ensure that our economic and monetary union is socially fair as well as efficient. And European laws on employment conditions, social dialogue and the inclusion of people with disabilities are examples of EU policies that contribute towards lowering social inequalities. The European Pillar of Social Rights, launched in 2017, is about making sure that growth reaches all people in Europe by promoting equal opportunities and access to the labour market, fair working conditions, social protection and inclusion. The European economy, stronger together.